These over here are in the book as well, except for one and two. I added those because they're actually very important katas. But uh, three through 11 are in this book. And there's plenty of room. You can see I have a lot of notes on the katas here. And these are not hard. Most of these are strike, you'll see. They're very simple striking katas. Again, the grappling comes later because if I have this, I want to beat someone from a distance, not get close. Makes sense. But remember that books don't fight, right? So this does no good sitting in your drawer at home. You have to practice on your own. It's a solo journey. So as he comes in, there's a lot of stuff I can do. I can be hitting, I can be moving this way, moving all, doing these things. But in this case, I need to take control. At some point as I move, I'm going to hit into the ribs and take him straight to the ground to make sure that I have control of that. It's extremely important. Come faster, please. Shifting. Down! Get down on the ground! It's got to be quick. And that's this ah. one. Don't worry, the cracking sound is this. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm baiting him, baiting. At some point, I'm going to hit him in the ribs. With what strike? There it is. We already did it. Naname Ushiro. What's his body going to do when I hit? Pitch forward. Pitch forward. Here. As he comes back, I take control of the arm and it goes there across the tricep, and then he's locked in. Hit! Catch that hand quickly, or the arm. Roll this up to the tricep. Lock his elbow, break it in real life with wood. If it's wood, this is going to shatter his ribs and his arm before he blinks. Can you feel the difference? Sir. It's amazingly different. One, two, he runs into it and then get down on the ground and just hold and can take control. His own body weight creates pain here. Catching here, getting low, running across and walking. Make sure he gets down from here. Holding him for someone. Can you do it? <laughs> okay, try it out really slow. That is a suke, it was also called ski yeti. Out to in, out to in, just a stab please. Out to in, out toward his center line, out to in. Omote to ura. If I get stuck on the inside, it's in to out. It's the same exact movement and same hand movement, except maybe there's a wall here if you stand right there. So I can't, I can't go this way. Yeah. I have to go that way because there's an obstacle. Or I, there's fighters everywhere and I can only go here. This uh, koshi ori, koshi is hip and ori is to break. It could mean that I hit the hip and break it. I did that one-handed, but traditionally, I'm going to go slow, would be with two. This way, because it's more power with a two. And it's actually traditionally done with a shoto, a short sword, not a, not a knife. This is just to make it more modern. I hit the hip, he reacts, I grab here. Push this way now and take his balance backwards. Koshi ori could mean he drops and falls on the stick and breaks his hip here. I'm going to leave it, breaks his hip because he lands on the stick if I, if I leave it there. Mm -hmm. If you have a wooden one or even padded, please remove it for safety. One, two, three, very fast. I'm using the leverage of the push combined with footwork. One, two, it's very fast. Here, catching. Slowing it down, it's either here or whip action. You can hit the floating ribs or the hips. Don't hit the fat between, it's not as good. Not a lot of nerves here. Here or here. I prefer the ribs. Boom! Catching, he retracts. Oh, let him retract. Move. 
and catch this direction. <coughs> Sound like a cow on his farm. <laughs> Don't do the finish. So shadow boxing, koshi ori. One and a half. Two. Run for your life. They will fall. Remove the stick for safety. 